guys, welcome back to McKenzie's Animation Corner. Today I'm watching another episode of The Bad Batch. And today's episode is called Rampage, and it's episode 5. So I have been really liking this series so far, and I'm very excited to see where the rest of the season's going, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. I get my own comm device? Technically it was Crosshairs, but he doesn't appear to need it. Echo, what's your position? Over. <clears throat> they need to get this child a phone because she keeps disappearing. I know an informant there named Sid who might be able to help. And you trust him? I love that the gonk droid's main purpose seems to be workout equipment for Wrecker. Don't wander off, keep my eyes and ears on my surroundings, and trust no one but my squad. And if you get into trouble? Use my comm and give my location. They really are all, all her dads. <laughs> Which one of them is Sid? I couldn't tell you. I only heard about Sid. Never actually met him. That would have been. He doesn't even know. Earlier. What's your deal, Tiny? You're Sid. You're sharper than your friends over there. How did she know? Okay, so Sid is a new character. As far as I know. Cut to it and tell me what you want. Who's her voice actor? I recognize the voice. Do you know who she is? No, but I know a bounty hunter when I see one. Well, they knew that much. You pull a job for me, and I get the information you want. That's how this mercenary thing works. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Not too quick, are you? Clearly the kid's the brains of your operation. <sighs> what kind of job? <laughs> I love that they had to high five for that. There's a nice bounty on a kid named Moochie. Moochie. Well, who collects the bounty? Oh, look, it talks. We split <gasps> the bounty. Don't beat me to record. My favor, take it or leave it. You all right? Yeah, yeah. It's nothing. According to his head. The only thing about Wrecker's head is that it's not like he's acted differently. I'm in. What are we waiting for? You get back to the ship. But that's an order. Yes, sir. I think it was so ready to go. <laughs> Why do I feel like she's not gonna go back to the ship? Have I told you that I really like what they do with the camera work in the Bad Batch? Echo. I think it's really good. It's like it's a sky. TV show. Like, Rekka, draw the Zygerian forces out. I mean, obviously it's a TV show, but I mean not an animated TV show, like a live action show. Oh! Well, that did not go well at all. Now, now, there's no need for threats. I have my best people on it. Uh, was that Bit Fortuna? That's what it looked like. It I'm making like. some alterations to my trooper. Now she's a bad betcha. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> we found their ship. They better sell these. Check uh -oh. the hole. Make sure no one's on board. The ship is clear. We're returning to base. We're returning to base. Why do they sound like that? All right, so now Omega has to rescue them on her own. This makes me nervous. It's what if they turn them into Empire? Do that one more time, and you'll be. Oh. Save your energy, or are all out of this tech? I am not certain. So much for being smart. <sighs> this is not a standard military operation, and seeing as how we have never been tasked with rescuing a child from slave traders before, there is no data I can compare it to. We need to signal Omega before the scouts find her. I mean, you kind of have done that before with, with Omega, weapons. in a way. Look at what we have here: four new slaves to add to okay, my. Okay, see, he sounds like a Plagarian. Oh. We can make do with one less slave. 
Maybe oh. I'll feed you to my pet. No, thank you. What is that? Let me go. I wasn't snaking. I was unlocking. Mm. Secure the cage. Okay, what is it? A rampaging adolescent rancor is not the distraction I was anticipating. That's, that's Moochie! Yeah. And that's why Bit Fortuna was okay, calling! Moochie. We're here to take you home. Uninaga Moochie! 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 A rancor is Moochie? <laughs> Omega and I will get them to safety. You find Moochie. Right. Go for the speedest at the south entrance. Tunilas Unujos, Umi Saba Tatama. Alright. Omega and Echo working together. Monster fight! <laughs> This is Godzilla vs. Kong. Who is this one man with the hat that's with them? Omega! Stay close! Alright, she has a weapon now! Any ideas how I know to stop it. that thing? Rancors adhere to a social hierarchy. You have to challenge the Alpha for authority. Oh, that I can do! They're just kind of slapping each other? How long's he been at this? Too long. He's losing his touch. Is this the first time we've seen him in animation? I don't remember if he was in the Clone Wars movie or not. He looks good, like, better than he does in the movies. Oh, Mochi! Oh, that's a good record! <laughs> so just everybody at Jabba's palace loved this Rancor, apparently. It wasn't just the Rancor Keeper. Bye, Mochi. Well, now I'm gonna be sad whenever I watch Return of the Jedi again. Your bounty hunter is Fennec Shand. She's new to the scene, but has already proven herself to be cunning and ruthless. Who hired her? Unknown. My sources in the guild say she's working on a direct commission. With someone like her nipping at your heels, you're gonna need two things. Friends and money. Mostly money. They don't have either of those. They're not swimming in either at the moment. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing you met me then, isn't it? Okay, it looks like Sid was voiced by Ree Perlman. Like, from Matilda and some other movies and TV shows and stuff. I liked this episode. I liked them kind of becoming uh, mercenaries and doing this job to try to get some information. They really didn't get that much information. They didn't get any information that we didn't already know, which was a little disappointing. But they did find out that she's after, like she she's a high caliber bounty hunter, so whatever she's after is valuable, which means that Omega is very valuable. I said last episode that I, I was thinking that the Cam Kaminoans were after Omega, but then I started thinking about that some more, and I don't know that that makes that much sense, because why? Would they let Omega escape with the Bad Batch and then hire an expensive bounty hunter to go after Omega? I, I, I just don't know that that adds up. But also, who else would know about Omega? So, 
I don't know who it would be besides the Kamen Owens. I liked getting to see Omega do some more. Again, I don't know if it's that she's just very observant for a child, or I still think that she might be force sensitive because it just was interesting that she knew who Sid was. We got more of Wrecker saying that his head hurt this episode, which this is uh, a little ways removed now from... <laughs> I was gonna say it's a little ways removed from when he hit his head last, but actually no, so far he's hit his head I think every episode, so I don't know, Wrecker loves brain damage I guess. Um, so I guess it could be that, or I still think it's the chip. He's rubbing the side of the head where the chip is. He's talked about hurting multiple times. It is a little weird that nothing seems to have triggered in him otherwise. Like, he, he hasn't alluded to feeling a desire to follow orders or go back to the Empire or, um, kill Jedi or anything like that. But I guess we haven't really seen a Jedi or anything, so who knows. Um, Omega has a weapon now, but she never did use it, so I don't know if she's just gonna learn how to use it in the upcoming episodes. Um, I remember seeing her with that weapon in the trailers, now that I'm thinking about it, but I had assumed that she was gonna get it from some special source, but no, she just stole it off some slavers? Uh, which, that's fine, I guess. I guess everything in Star Wars doesn't have to have meaning. In this episode, they went to this planet to find out more about the bounty hunter and they found out some more about her but now I'm interested to see what their next steps are. Sid suggested to them that they need to have friends and money so I'm kind of assuming they're gonna go out and try to find some more friends so maybe we'll eventually see Rex. I don't know that I had that much more to say about this episode. It was cool getting to see the Rancor and getting to see the origin story of the Rancor. That's nothing that I really thought that I needed out of Star Wars but and yeah, I think that's it. If you enjoyed my reaction to this episode of The Bad Batch, feel free to like the video and then comment down below your thoughts on this episode if you have any theories about where the rest of the season's gonna go or anything like that. Oh, I did want to let everyone know, I know that they've released some like other like mid-season trailers and things like that. Besides that first trailer, I've decided I'm not gonna watch any other trailers because I like more to go into it blind. And I feel like when you watch a lot of trailers, your reactions just kind of turn into like, oh yeah, I saw that in the trailer. Or, oh, they must be going here because I saw that in the trailer. And that's just not as fun in my opinion. So I'm not gonna watch any more trailers and you guys can talk about stuff in the trailers, I guess, in the comments, but if you want to leave that out, then that would be nice too, so that way I'm not really... It's not really a spoiler, but that way I'm not spoiled for anything, you know? And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content. I post Harley Quinn videos every Tuesday, Dragon Prince videos every Friday, and then Bag of Batch videos whenever I can get them out. And if you subscribe to my channel, then you can get notified whenever I post videos of things like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. You are going to have to move. You're such a camera hog.